Hey friends, I want to welcome you or welcome you back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. We haven't talked in a little while, so tell me how are things going so far? How is your month going? What do you have going on this month? Do you have anything fun and exciting planned? It's Good Friday, so today I am, first of, first of all, we want to thank God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God this is a big weekend for us, so it's just always a fun weekend. Some people call it Easter weekend. We typically refer to it as resurrection weekend because we are just so excited about what Jesus did, the sacrifice he made for us, dying on the cross for our sins, but he was resurrected on the third day and when he got up with all power in his hands and because of him, we could live an abundant life and we could spend all of eternity with him in glory. So resurrection weekend is a big deal to us. We are excited about it. And so today I am off and we're just kind of, I'm kind of um, catching up on some things. I need to get some videos recorded, got some work to catch up on. And right now my car is filthy. Like the pollen is ridiculous here. I'm in North Carolina. The pollen is absolutely ridiculous. And so I have a black car. It is literally coated. So I am sitting in the car wash line right now. And there are like one, two, three, four, five. There are like at least six other people waiting in the car wash line too, because it's really ridiculous. So let me know where you are. And if the pollen is this bad where you are, I definitely want to know because it is ridiculous. So that's what I'm doing. That's first up. Well, that's second up. First up, I went and got my makeup done. Second up, car wash. When I get home, I'm going to start recording videos. And what else do I need to do? I need to get respond to some emails. And um, oh, by the way, those of you who know about my doctoral research, I've told you guys about that in a previous blog. Still working on that starting to get some responses in now from new pastors so again if you are a senior pastor you're the uh, main leader the head leader of the church and you have zero to ten years of experience i would love for you to participate in my survey it's very very short it's like two minutes or less it's a very quick survey so if you would be willing to participate in that that would be fantastic and I, i'll actually link that below too and um, let's see what else. Or if you know somebody, if you know a new pastor, zero to 10 years of experience, they are the senior leader of a Christian church. I would love for them and greatly, greatly appreciate them participating in my survey. Okay. So I'm still working on that. I have some more um, people to reach out to today, try to get some more survey responses as well. So I got a lot going on. So I hope you will stick around with me and hang out with me in this vlog. Thanks again for joining. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. And I'll talk to you soon. y'all right, I'm back home so the plan is to get started I want to knock out at least four videos today the minimum four maybe five or six so that's the goal that's what we're gonna go for I need to let ace out straighten up a little bit and then we're gonna get started
just finished my fourth video. I just finished the fourth video. So I did do the four that I wanted to do. So I'm feeling a little tired now, <laughs> but I got them done. Okay, so let me tell you what I did. So I want you to be on the lookout for these videos. I did one on um, five ways to rebuild your life. Okay, five tips for that. I did one on the biggest mistakes that people make when starting a wellness journey. And then the most important thing that I want you to remember, that was the second video. Then the third video was two simple steps. No, two simple strategies to grow in your wellness. Okay, so I talked about that and provided examples in lots of areas. And then the last video was... Um, kind of a compilation of some other things I'm working on, but I shared um, the easiest way to reset your habits, three insider secrets to refocus on your goals, and then three a three-step formula to revamp your lifestyle, okay? So all that's there. Make sure you stay on the lookout for those videos because they are coming up. So another thing that um, I was going to tell you guys about, so you know I'm working on my doctoral work, so that's a big focus. Here's the thing. <laughs> like I just totally swerved. Here's the thing. I have been known to work on too many things at one time, just in life. Okay. I've always kind of done that. So what I'm trying to really focus on in this season is to reel it in and not do so many things at one time, but to really just only do like one or two things. So instead of going really wide, doing a whole bunch of stuff, I want to go really deep on the one or two things that I feel God is leading me to do in this season. So I do believe that God really wants me to um, focus on this YouTube channel. So I'm trying to still do that. Although, have y'all subscribed to my channel? I want you to do that. <laughs> the way that all, I'm just going to, we're going to just continue to pray. Are y'all praying for me? Are y'all praying for me? Pray for me. Pray for my YouTube channel. Pray that the Lord's will be done. Okay. We're just going to leave that like that. So there's the YouTube channel. Then y'all know I'm trying to finish up this doctoral work so I can get out of school because I'm over it. Again, by the way, if you are a senior pastor or you know a senior pastor of a Christian church with zero to 10 years of experience, I really need you to participate in my survey because I really need to get this done and get out of school. Okay, thank you. Amen. I appreciate your support. So I have at this point reached out to everybody I know I feel like in the world and been like, do you know a pastor? How many do you know? No, please ask them to do my survey. Okay. And I'm asking you <laughs> for the same thing. Do you know a pastor? Please ask them to help me, please. Okay. So there's that. So there's YouTube. Bless God for that. There's school. I need to get out of that. And then trying to really just uh, build up and cultivate like my business and brand and ministry, like really trying to work on that because my desire for the longest time now is to um, not work a nine to five. And there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five. It just, it's just not for me. So my goal and my prayer is to be able to work full time in my own business. I want to fully, fully, fully be an entrepreneur and fully, fully, fully be able to support myself in that. That has been a goal and a prayer for me for years. And so it's still like so, 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 so important to me. So I really do want to get that really being able to be sustained and roll by itself in a way that I can just completely fully do that. And so I'm really focused. And this time, I know I said I was only, that's a lot of focuses, but really my focus is get out of school, speaking, speaking uh, engagements and opportunities, which is a part of the business and then YouTube. So it really is only three things. But so I'm really um, doing a bunch of speaking engagements in this season. I'm doing a lot of things virtually and then a few things coming up over the next few months where I'll physically be going to different places and conferences, which I'm really excited about. So I'm really just really trying to grow the speaking business, speaking ministry opportunity, because that is something that I love to do. It really does light me up inside. I feel alive when I'm speaking and coaching and training and sharing and preaching. And, you know, all of it goes very closely related to me, for me. So whether I'm uh, on a YouTube like this or on in a pulpit or on a platform or stage or something, I really feel alive. I really feel God speaking to me and through me and telling me exactly what to say. So 
I love to do that. That is my gifting. That is my passion. So that is the area that I'm really pressing into in this season. So I'm trying to really bring it in and focus instead of doing a whole bunch of other things. And of course, I'm a part of the leadership team at my church. So we always um, do things at church and local church ministry is always a priority for me. So that's always going to be a top of the list. But so those are the things that I'm really pulled in. I'm not doing a whole bunch of other things anymore. There are a lot of things I'm going to have to say no to. There are a lot of things I'm not going to be able to participate in because I need to get out of school. <laughs> I need to get my business running and booming so I can do it full time. And I need to get this YouTube channel rolling and booming too, because that would be fantastic, right? So those are the things that I'm really, 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 really focused on and really working on in this season because I want to be full time in my own business. I really do. That is my heart's desire. I don't want to work for anybody. I want to work for myself. We'll work for the Lord, obviously work for the Lord in our business, <laughs> the business that he has given me and I want it to do well and I want it to flourish. That is my prayer. So if you pray for me, first of all, I appreciate your prayers. And secondly, if you do pray for me, those are some prayer points. Please pray that I connect with these pastors so I can get out of school. And then please pray that God would bless my business and that God would bless everything that he has called me to do, that it would flourish. And there just wouldn't be demonic interference, but that I would be able to get through and do the things that God has called me to do. Okay, so that is that. I think that's it for now. I'm tired. I just did a lot of talking, did all those videos. And um, I think that's it for now. I'll check back in with you guys later. y'all so i'm just getting back in a really nice friend sent me a gift card for macy's so i ran to macy's to see if they had anything in store so i could use my gift card i didn't really find anything but i found something online that i like so i'll probably just go back online and purchase that and then i had to uh where else did i go so run to target just needed a few things needed some more body wash just grab some dove Grab these Febreze plugins. I love these. And I was having a hard time deciding between this one is Mediterranean lavender is what I settled on, but it was also some type of ocean breeze or ocean something, which smelled really good too. I just need to grab some scoops, some Tostitos. That was about it. And got some gas, now I'm back home. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just close out the vlog here. The only other thing I'm going to do today really is check email. I have to respond to several people. I'm going to do a little bit more homework. Uh, I need to get some things turned in tonight. 
for um, some other projects and things I'm working on. So I'm gonna do that. And that is about it. And find something to eat, because I'm really hungry. <laughs> so that is about it. So thank you so much for joining me today for this vlog. Thanks for spending some time with me. Definitely like this video, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to check out the description box for all my free resources and other ways that you can contact me so we can stay connected. So thanks so much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in the next video.